In this video, we will discuss the key criteria you should consider when choosing between nitrocellulose and PVDF membranes for your Western blotting experiment. When it comes to Western blotting, choosing the best membrane for your application can mean the difference between crystal clear bands and a blotchy mess. There are four key criteria you should consider when choosing a Western blotting membrane. The first criterion you should consider is protein binding capacity. In general, PVDF has a higher protein binding capacity than nitrocellulose. This means PVDF is more sensitive but also more prone to background noise. Choose PVDF for applications requiring high sensitivity. Next, you should consider pore size. Both membrane types are available in a variety of pore sizes, ranging from 0.1 to 0.45 microns. Although 0.45 microns is suitable for most protein applications, 0.1 or 0.2 microns is recommended for proteins or peptides less than 15 kilodaltons in size. Also consider each membrane's durability. In general, nitrocellulose is more fragile than PVDF, making PVDF ideal for experiments requiring repeated stripping and reprobing of the membrane. Finally, when performing fluorescence western blots, be aware that some membranes will autofluoresce more than others. Standard PVDF membranes are more susceptible to autofluorescence than other membrane types. Choose nitrocellulose or low fluorescence PVDF for fluorescence western blotting experiments. There are numerous factors to consider when selecting the optimal membrane for your western blot. Knowing how each parameter impacts the result will help you make the best decision on which to use.